So what we're looking at now, it, this is in the context of a larger agroforestry system. We have uh, around us a mango tree, Erythrina uh, berteroana, back there Erythrina pepagiana. We have uh, pegibaya or uh, peach palm, also known as Bactris gassipes. We have uh, bread nut, the Articarpus comansi. We have golden plum, or Spondius mambine. Uh, we have uh, some coconuts around, uh, some cashew and some other fruits here. But this area here is fairly well established. This was all planted in about uh, 1992 and uh, 91. And uh, so we have a mixture of food species like the bread nut uh, and the peach palm and the mango. And we have leguminous trees like the two species of erythrina uh, plus the uh, Cesalpinia pulcherima or Pride of Barbados. Underneath this, we have some cacao. There's a cacao tree there. There's one over there. Uh, we have some ornamentals like hibiscus. But what we're thinking about right now is finding some turmeric. This is an area that's dried back behind this peach palm. And so there's not much going on on the surface. But underground, we have a lot of turmeric. This is an example of a sort of cluster of rhizomes. It goes dormant in the dry season. Uh, and right now it's ready to harvest. So we, uh, most months we take uh, 100 pounds or so of this up to Belize City and sell it at the market, sell it wholesale. This enjoys a good price. And this is one of, one of the things that adds an element of production into a, an already productive system. Uh, this is not only a culinary plant, but it's also medicinal. It's, so it's used locally for lots of bush medicine. Um, this area was originally very damaged soil, and so by mixing it in uh, to the mix, we dig it up, we kind of break up the structure of the soil. So we add uh, a facet of aeration of the soil and decompacting of the soil. So it's useful as a pioneer species in an area that has some shade. It's kind of useful for a plant to, to get in there and um, break up the soil. Yeah, everything will sprout. All, all of this, like this piece here, um, like I could, for example, uh, I could take this in the rainy season and then I would uh, kind of break up the soil with the, and then I would stick this into the soil like that and walk away. And then at the end of the rainy season, we'd have a lot more. So not a bad little haul from a few, a few less than a square foot of surface area. We're getting a fair amount of production. So, yeah. And, yay. Harvest a little ginger out of our system because ginger is another high value crop. Like the turmeric that likes shade, just having a little bit of ginger mixed in is nice. Here's an example of some uh, production underneath the canopy. Uh, and this is, again, early successional amount. So we're going to... So here, here's, an, uh, here's a nice ginger root. We've got a little bit here. And so we've harvested most of it. But I've left a piece, well, I'm going to take that one because it's loose. But I've left some pieces here, here, and here, and here, um, so that next year when the rains come, uh, or in a few months when the rains come back, this will take over, and next year we'll be able to get a nice, big, healthy root that looks something like that. So, yeah, this is, this is, um, yeah, this is the joy of agroforestry.